What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Railroads Online, and today we're finally here, we're finally back, we're in the new map, this is super exciting, and uh, you know, everyone's been telling me to play Railroads Online, it's gotten a whole lot of new things, including this wonderful new map, so it should be a new adventure, I honestly haven't checked out anything, it's kind of exciting already, we got the logging camp over there, the sawmill way over by the lake, so that's gonna be a bit of a trek, we're gonna have to bring logs past the freight depot to get back to the sawmill obviously today we're gonna go connect up to the logging camp uh apparently we've got a whole ton of different things we've got some props so we've got some signs which is kind of cool we've got yard limit signs and things this is this is actually really cool can i change the sign yard limit that's pretty cool so we've got some signs and props which you know i'm not really too worried i've never really been a huge aesthetic kind of guy but obviously uh we'll be able to you know use these for different different things sign highway okay what is that Oh, it's just like, it's just like a marker. Uh, we've also got industries, which I thought was kind of cool. You can actually, like, place your own logging camp if you wanted to. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna use the ones on the map. But let's say you wanted to make your own map and have industries wherever you want. You could actually place your own industries however you want to. And it, it just lets you place the whole building. So that's kind of a neat thing. Not exactly sure. I mean, I guess that's if you want a real sandbox sort of experience. You could have mega industries and make huge versions of it. Um... Oh, including a new freight depot. That's kind of cool. We could also, obviously, I feel like, spam a lot of money this way. We could just put, like, the logging camp next to the freight depot and just sell right away, and we'd be good to go. And then, of course, we've got a ton of new locomotives and, uh, and flat cars and stuff. We've got these tiny little flat cars, which is what we start with as well. Logging flat. Oh, my God. These things are so, so adorably small. Low side gondola, medium gondola, high gondola. That's great. A little oil tanker. Really? Oh, and it's an agricultural tank car. So this is for, like, fertilizer or something. A box car. Oh, my God. And then we get into skeleton cars, flat cars, and now we get into the bigger... The bigger... It's a lot. There's a lot of cars now. Okay, I really don't know why we need all these... Oh, my God, there's a passenger car. Okay, that's cool. I, d I don't know what we need passenger car for, but we have passenger cars. Uh, and then the hand car. We got the Porter 040. The Porter 042. Those are both standard. The 10 mile, that was in before. The class 48, of course, old reliable. The Montezuma, the Eureka, the Glenbrook, the Climax, the Heisler, the Ruby Basin. We've pretty much seen all these engines before. The Shea, the Mosca, the Cook 260, 260 Coal, 280 Cook, the 70. Uh, was this here before? The 280? I don't, I don't know what this is. The Baldwin Locomotive Works. WNC. I should know what WNC is, and Heist is going to get mad at me for not knowing what WNC is, but I, I don't remember if the 280 uh, was in there or not. The Lima. Oh, this is interesting. It's kind of it's kind of getting bigger. It's getting bigger. 200 PSI boiler pressure. That's kind of exciting. 19,000 pounds of tractive effort. Uh, the Lima 2... Oh, that's it. Just the Lima 280. I'm pretty sure these are both new. I feel like they are. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're broke. So, first thing we gotta do, obviously, is just lay track. Um, so let's see if I can remember how to do this. Oh, we got, yeah, pretty much all the same. We got a three-way stub switch. Yeah, all this is pretty much the same as it has been. I don't think there's any major changes there. The big major change, though, obviously, is the props. Um, like, I mean, look at, you could make a whole town. So, let's just do this again. I like the fact that the spawning area for this map is right in line with the freight depot. That's kind of cool, actually. So I'm going to just extend these three tracks out to here, uh, and then we're going to merge them together at that point and just sort of, you know, see what we can do. And uh, I, I think I can remember how to lay track. And then eventually we'll, like, loop this around and stuff. But for now, we're just going to really just connect them up on both sides to make sort of a really basic three-lane yard. They are a little spread out for my liking, but, you know, it is what it is. It's not really the end of the world. So we'll put that to there. And we'll do a third one here. And then, of course, we'll hook our, our porter up to our cars here. And then we'll get the heck out of here. And see what we can do. And maybe cause some damage. Alright, now I don't remember all my fancy techniques to get this to line up perfectly. Because I would have to, like, do some magic to get this to line up absolutely perfectly. So we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna try our best here. Uh, and, like, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I, I don't think this is gonna be perfect, but... See, look, it's off. I, I used to have tricks, and I don't really remember all the tricks. You know what? We're going to actually do this the other way, because I would rather the lead track be straight, like the main track, because this is what we're going to use as our main to come flying in here, and I don't really care if these siding tracks are a little bit less perfect. 
There we go. Let's do this. I am also going to change the weather. There we go. I'll play with weather on once we've actually built some track, but as long as I'm building track, I want to, you know, have clear skies to be actually, you know, able to see where we're going and stuff. So it's nice that you could turn that off. I, I really like the fact that, you know, Railroads Online is essentially just a sandbox. Um, you know, it's not really as restricting as something like Derail Valley, let's say. You just kind of can do whatever the heck you want, which is, is sort of the point. It's, you know, it's essentially a train sandbox. You get to build all sorts of cool trains and stuff, and uh, that's what we're doing. All right, another switch down. Still off by just the slightest little bit, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's a yard. It, it's fine. It would be cool if you could somehow line that up perfectly. I know, like, I could extend this out and then figure out where it crosses and do some crazy stuff and... And then this one, honestly, I'm just going to connect, like, straight up and let it be rounded, because who cares? I do like the fact that they give us a telegraph office and a, uh, a water tower right away. Although, I guess the last one gave us a water tower, too, the last map. This is just the bigger water tower, but there we go. That's that's good enough. All right. I got a speed gauge. That's cool. I got speed, I got boiler pressure, water temp, water level, fire temp, and fuel. All right. And it, oh, and it removes the controls that you don't have for the locomotive. That's nice. So there's no confusion about whether or not you've got a generator or not. All right. Let's go full bar forward. Full reg. Yeah, we're just, we're just cruising already. Love it. Alright, perfect. We gotta pick up our cars. Our tiny little logging cars. Oh my god, the whistle is so adorable now. It's this tiny little... That's great. Gotta pick up my cars. And then go to the logging camp. I have no idea where the logging camp is. We're just, we're gonna just go for it. We're literally just gonna send it and see what happens. And like, you know, if we make it, we make it. We don't, we don't. We might run it into like a 10% hill at the very end of it. All right, here we go. Linking our train up. Donk. Perfect. Link you into there. Link you into there. Wonderful. Remove that. And now we can go full steam ahead. I love it. Oh, they actually named the cars. That's cool. 101 Lake Valley. That's neat. I mean, I didn't want to really call my railroad company Lake Valley, but that's fine. I wonder if there's a way to rename cars at some point. I mean, it doesn't really matter. All right, so we're just going to stop right here, and we're going to start building some track. I'm going to do a big lazy loop to the right, like a huge lazy turn. Is that a horse? Oh, it's a rock. I swear to God, that looked like a horse laying down for a second. All right, doesn't matter. Anyway, let's build some track. Three-foot rail, boom, circle mode on. Uh, let's do just a huge radius to the right, like a big 500-meter curve or something. Oh, that's really big. You know what? Let's go 300 meters. Yeah, I do want to turn at some point in time. Okay, that's still huge. Let's go 200 meters. I got to get up my uh, spreadsheet again with all the, the readings of all the different inclines and uh towing capacities and stuff actually i gotta work out the math because i don't think that spreadsheet has all the new engines on it either so i've got to plug in some values to some formulas to get some tractive effort to you know do some calculations again but for now i mean i'm not too worried we're essentially going on is that the logging camp down there man you can see so is that what is that is that a town there's like a ton of built what is wait what what direction? Oh, that's the oil field. Oh my god, we're like right next to the logging camp. Oh, this map... I'm, I walked so much further than I thought. That's the oil field. Holy cow. This is like... This is a circle that's literally going straight to the oil... Okay, we can do much less radius than this. Let's go like a 100 meter radius. Let's just go full send in this direction. This will be nice, too, because this straight path we can use as, like, an area to break off. You know, I'm going to put a piece here so we have a spline. And then that way, like, I can delete that later and put some switches to head out to the oil field and things. There's definitely going to be... I might double track a lot of this map because it's already, like, flat and open. But we'll see as we go. I honestly don't know, like, how the industries are going to be laid out, what we got to do. And, of course, it's going to be cool because there's all these little cars now. So we're going to start by buying all these little cars for Betsy and and really working up you know that way and then eventually we'll get into the bigger stuff we're gonna have to start climbing here if we're gonna make this all right so that gets us to here i deleted it all the way back we're gonna have to go like left or right i think that's the logging camp there did i just accidentally oh i got rid of the spline god dang it that's the logging camp right there i'm pretty sure 
Okay, that's interesting. You know what? Let's start building some track at the logging camp. And then let's see where we end up. Because I want to have the logging camp as a really functional industry, obviously. Because we're going to use it a lot. And uh, so we're going to end up making a loop to connect to the cordwood and the regular, you know, logs. I think it's like built in a valley. Oh, this is, this is really, this is really kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, it is built in the valley. Well, hold on a minute. What goes, does that just go all the way to the back of the freight depot in a nice smooth line? It probably does. No, there's, is there a hill? I feel like I can go this way and, and connect to the back of the freight depot. And it's much easier than going on that front side. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to first place down the logging camp lines because I think that's going to, you know, be required. We'll start with like some switches and then just to align it and then I'll build some track off it. And then, yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go that way because that's definitely towards the freight depot. And I'm pretty sure we can just cut through these trees and it looks like, you know, the valley, we don't have to climb at all. So let's do that. All right, I've got the two station platforms set up. I realized uh, this actually goes uphill a little bit. So we're going to have to do... I'm going to do some 70 meter curves, and I'm going to do this at 1% just to try and get it some height. It's not like a huge deal or anything, but it's enough. And then we'll go back to zero, and then we'll try and just kind of... Uh, no, we got to go straight a little bit here and turn it around. Yeah, we're going to try and loop it around in this valley. It's a pretty tight valley here. Um, but I think maybe we can we can make this work. It might be a tight corner, but it's fine. It's an industry track. It doesn't need to be this like crazy super high speed thing. You shouldn't be going high speed around here anyway. We'll put a bunch of yard signs up. Yeah. Oh boy, that's sixty. That's too much. See, this is gonna be this is gonna be really really tight to build in here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out and then we'll have a finished loop here in a sec. It's thirty meter radius. I don't know. I mean, it's it's yard speed. We're just you're just gonna have to go yard speed. Some of these bigger locomotives, I don't know if they'd actually be able to make it around this corner. I mean, I think the game will let them do it, but yeah, it is literally the tightest radius corner you can actually build with the circle mode. Uh, if I wanted it tighter, I would have to free place it, and it would just be terrible. So it's it's a thirty meter radius. We're in the logging camp. It barely fits too. Like it barely. We're touching this side, and we're touching that side of the valley. This is a ridiculously tight industry, but it's cool. I mean, the last logging camp had a big flat area, lots you could do with it. Uh, this one definitely more confined. I think the intention is for you to build straight lines that come this way. And, you know, just have some shunting areas. But, uh, now nah, we use this industry a lot. We're gonna make a loop. And, uh, now we gotta connect on the front. This is a little bit, this is a little bit gross looking. But, you know, to be honest, I don't, we'll, we'll, we can deal with that later. So now, all I'm gonna do, essentially, um, is just extend this guy straight out for a bit. Let's, uh, yeah, not 30 meter turns. Thank you very much. No, we're gonna go straight for a bit here. And we're just gonna have it hit up. Does it clear that? Oh my god, that looks... It, it is... Yeah, no, there's there's some fill there. We're barely clearing this. That's awesome. Alright, so we'll do something like this. And and then we'll just put a switch right here. This will be the industry switch. The nice thing about this, though, the last logging camp, your industry switch had to be so far away from the actual logging camp. This one, I can just put it right here. It's super close. And then we can just connect this up to this. And it's easy when we're coming in and dealing with trains. I remember the last logging camp, you always had to have it, like, before that hill section. That looks pretty tight, but, you know, not the end of the world. Again, it's an industry. We're gonna have a big yard speed sign out there. Done. Go yard speed. And then on the other side of it, do we have a, a sign that's, like, like uh, go fast? Is there a fast sign? Slow, rail, ra no, there isn't. It's fine. Alright, that's good enough. Yard limit. Slow the heck down when you're coming in here. Now we're just gonna go, honestly, just straight. I feel like this is the alignment they want you to actually make. Uh, straight, no incline. It kind of drops a little bit, but this is fine. With Phil, this isn't the end of the world. And yeah, like, we were we're on the other side. Oh, there's a cut through the valley there, too. So we can always cut through there if we have to. But I'm pretty sure this is, like, honestly going straight at the... Straight north of the freight depot. Okay, so we're gonna have to turn a little bit here. Uh, oh, hello. We can do, actually, just a nice, super lazy, like, 800 meter radius turn. Some mainline track stuff right here. Just nice, slow, gradual turns. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we could probably come down a little bit too. Like maybe half a percent. Yeah, there we go. I like to be a little bit closer to the ground with my fill. 
I don't like being, you know, way high up with the fill, obviously. There we go. That's perfect. Hopefully, we don't have to clear anything. But I'm pretty sure the freight depot is at this level. The logging camp's just slightly off, it seems. So, it should be fine. I think that's our track right there. I'm pretty sure I can spot track through the trees here. We clear that little bump, no problem. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's our station platform right there. That's perfect. So, let's just uh, hook up. Oh, did I come too far out of the shunting area? I might have. I might have to actually stay straight on this. Alright, this time I kept it straight. And look at where we ended up. We're almost like right at the end of our own track there. So now I should just be able to honestly like curve this guy in. And connect it to this side of the alignment. And we're fine. I think we'll have to deal with all this later when we have more industries and more routes. But honestly, it's kind of like the first time playing the other map. You don't really know much of anything about where anything should go oh my god we are way too close all right let's actually just build it off this end but yeah it's gonna be super cool because it's like exploring a whole new area we're definitely gonna have to I, I probably shouldn't have jumped right into track building first obviously we went the wrong direction right away so i think when we go to new industries i might have to actually like walk there and kind of scope out the place especially if there's you know stuff that goes up really high and we have to deal with that 100 meters are we even gonna Okay, we probably won't even make this turn. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go 90, maybe, or 80? Oh my goodness. I forgot how big a 100 meter turn actually is. It's so nice that you can build in railroads and lie with big splines. The spline update was, that was the huge update. That changed the game. Before the spline update, where you had to actually, like, build everything one piece at a time, and the splines were these super short things, oh my goodness, it took so long to place an alignment. And you had to do everything as individual layers. And oh, look at that. We line it straight up. We hit that. Perfect. So we'll just do this and just link that. Good enough. That looks great. All right, let's go get our locomotive now. And, you know, we're not going to worry too much about the other track on the other side. I'll just delete it for now. That's actually kind of nice because that other track had a straight shot right at the oil industry. So we should be able to just, you know, drill a straight line right at the oil wells and stuff and connect that up that way and then the, we're going almost completely flat a little bit of one percent half percent stuff but pretty much flat to get to the logging camp which should also be nice so the first thing we're actually going to do we're going to buy more of those little little flat cars more of these guys uh so this would be 102 and i guess the name is lake valley because that's what they had uh paint sure i think this is the same color order 200 yeah, perfect. Let's actually get four more of them, because why not? The nice thing about this freight depot, though, I will say, compared to the last map, is uh, there seems to be more immediate flat space right next to the freight depot. Like, look at... This is huge. This field is massive. So we could actually build an insane industry right up here, you know, build up a whole town, whatever the heck we wanted to do. We could really build, like, a massive shunting area is sort of where I'm getting at. And we're going to have to have one at some point in time. There's all sorts of different cars. I mean, we just bought a ton of, like, the small cars, but at some point in time, they're gonna become obsolete, and then we'll just, you know, not need them at all, so... I'm gonna just delete all this back, though. We don't really need it for now. I really hope we have to climb up on one of those mountains for one of the industries. That's gonna be so sick. I'm gonna just put this... a little bit of extra tr straight track here, just to be safe. And we'll do what we... actually, we need more than that, because we need track to... to switch on. Just in case we need to, you know, switch around. And let's just put a bumper on this. Look at that. Perfect. Now we're really cooking. Alright, now we'll back this guy up. And uh, connect up the rest of our train. And then we'll shove on through to the logging camp and see how that alignment works out. This is the smallest little... This is like if I had a, a train in my backyard. This would be the train. I do like the speedometer. That's great. I don't know if they remove speed limits or not. I mean, Betsy's kind of not exactly the example, because I don't think Betsy can go that fast anyway. Like, 15 mile an hour? That's, that's probably right. I don't think Betsy can go... It's got tiny little drivers, so it can't exactly get up to high speeds. But, I mean, you know what? We'll say, we have some money. We have two grand. I'm not going to buy any more cars. We'll save up some money. We'll have to connect to the logging camp, um, to the sawmill. That'll be the next big thing. The sawmill... Ooh, it's... It's that way. Ooh... That's gonna be exciting. That's it's so far away from the logging camp this time compared to the last map. That's actually really, really cool. I like the fact that it's down by the lake, too. That's super awesome. So we're gonna have to go this way. Oh, man, that's gonna be a cool trip. 
that's gonna be a long trip to deliver logs. That's exciting. In the last map, that was kind of one of the things I didn't like about the sawmill. You use the sawmill for almost every industry. Like, a lot of industries require lumber and stuff. But it was so close to the logging camp, you never got really these long log hauls across the map. Now, there's gonna be a reason to make these, like, you know, 40-car log trains and drag them all the way across the map. It's gonna be cool, right through the freight depot every time. We'll definitely have to build some other some other tracks to go around here. Definitely a big loop comes around the back so we can turn around and then definitely a bypass track as well as a bigger yard. I mean, this is kind of like our spawning yard and actually, I technically I'm using the spawning track as part of the main. I like the fact that it all like built, it all groups up together now, it's super cool. But, uh, like, your spawning tracks aren't these separate tracks anymore. They're, you can actually use them. But now we have to remember that if we're spawning locomotives, we might accidentally foul the main, which, you know, could cause problems. Not really. I mean, I'm not... It, it mostly is going to spawn on this side anyway. All right, here we go. Should be... A, I mean, a, a, we're pushing six cars. I don't even know how much these things weigh. It can't be a lot. Going at 16 mile an hour. That's as fast as Betsy will do. Beautiful. Nice 80 meter radius, I think is what this is. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, we can't just shove. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I forgot I didn't delete any trees on this track. Uh yeah. Hold I I didn't I didn't delete any of the trees. Yeah, like this one right here. That would have been a problem. That would have been a problem. That would have been a problem. I'm gonna turn Betsy on nice and slow. And I think we can just shove back slowly while I delete trees. So let's just do a little bit of reg, a little bit of reverser, break off. Perfect. Let that shove. Let's delete some trees. Hopefully we can do this fast enough. Might have to be re-railing on the first day. That's fine though. This is cool. I like the fact that there's these smaller trees now too. It's not all just like one tree. It feels more like an actual sort of pop-up forest. Yeah, so in hindsight, that was probably a bad idea. Alrighty, I've deleted all the trees. The cars are back on track. Everything's good. Thank goodness there's no damage. I think we're fine. That one, we'll hook that up as we go. This one, we gotta pin you in. Yeah, perfect. Alright, yeah. I, I forgot that the, the trains actually accelerate pretty quickly. And we don't really need to, uh, yeah, set it and forget it. Setting it and forgetting it is very bad in pretty much every train game I've ever played. So, here we go. Let's just uh, push back. Should be good to go. No trees on this alignment anymore. Everything's wonderful. We're gonna get some logs and make some money. I'm actually very curious to see if these are just tiny little scaled down logs. I, I mean, they've got to be, right? It's kind of cool that there's extra sizes now. I'm sure they'll pay for nothing. And uh, I'm also curious if we delivered them to the sawmill, are they like, there must be like half logs in the pond, right? Like if you put a bunch of little logs in, you only get half the value compared to if you put in a big log. That'd be my guess. Barely using any reg, doesn't matter. Lots of water, lots of fire. We do a nice 15. Oh, yard limit. Better slow down to yard limit, which is like, uh, basically, I mean, I don't know, 10. There we go. Doesn't even matter. Honestly, these cars are so small, I'm pretty sure they could go around like a zero radius corner. They're just two straight axles that are like three feet apart. It could go around any corner. This has a little bit of an incline, a little bit of a 1% here, you can see, just to get up and around that. And then it goes into a super sharp 30 meter radius, but I mean, it, yeah, with these cars, I don't think there's any issue. Even with the bigger cars, I feel like as long as we're not trying to pull through it, we should be okay. It is a little bit tight, though. It's it's definitely it's definitely a tight corner. One of the bigger like 280s is probably going to have an issue. I mean, maybe not. They got blind drivers in the middle, so they're probably fine. There we go. We got to fix that little kink too at some point, but it's not really a huge deal. All right, and we're just going to stock up on logs. And of course, we can just crane these up. It's going to load a giant log onto a tiny cart. And oh, it becomes a half log. Perfect. They hold five each. That's interesting. So one less log. 
I don't know if these are going to count as full logs, though, or not. I mean, it says it's 10,000 pounds. Or 10,000 kilos, 22,000 pounds. Those are some heavy logs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it counts these as full logs or not. It definitely only loads five. That's interesting. If the only difference is it loads five compared to six, but they're still considered full logs, that's not even that bad. Because you could have so many more. Like, this is, like, the equivalent of one longer car that holds six, right? So if these are considered full logs, that's ten logs in the space of six, which means it would be more efficient to run little cars compared to big cars. I'll have to do some checks, though, once we get to the sawmill and stuff. We're not going to be able to really tell at the freight depot. Um, because at the freight depot, it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna say that I, uh, you know, I, I get paid for each log. I guess it, the value might be the same. Maybe it's the same, like, it's $6, I think is what it was for the original logs. Is that gonna load? Oh, yeah, let's go. Perfect. Animation skip. Pro strats. All right. Easy peasy. Let's get out of here. Just, uh, highball it. Full speed. Let's go, Betsy. You gotta climb up 1% pulling, uh, what, like 20,000 pounds per car? So 120,000 pounds of logs? No big deal. You got this. I believe. 120 PSI boiler pressure, we're good. We're cooking. We're moving. A little bit of a climb to get out of here. I guess it would make more sense to load facing the other way, where you don't have to climb to leave, but that's fine. Perfect. Oh man, it's so cool. Yeah, if these are full-size logs, I I would be very inclined to make a log trade of just little cars. And you could have like 20 little cars, and at 5 logs per, you know, that's a lot of logs. But once we get to the sawmill and connect that up, that's when we'll really find out. Because, I mean, that'll just be, you know, the next big industry to go to. And it's going to be a trip. It's going to be exciting to get there. But we'll head back and sell these at the freight depot. I'd also like to get some faster engines, too. I know the Montezuma's faster. I'm curious if, uh, you know, if there's any actual speed limit still. I honestly haven't read the patch notes. I knew the new map came out. That's about it. And some new locomotives, but I didn't really read any of the patch notes. I'm expecting you guys in the comments will fill me in on all the patch note details. It's usually how it goes. We are just cruising. This is definitely not yard speed, 15 mile an hour. I feel like yard speed's probably 5 mile an hour. But, I mean, we can't really go any faster with Betsy anyway, so, you know. Yard, I like, we're gonna have to do a lot of, a lot of sign decoration and decorate these industries a little bit more. I mean, the logging camp's essentially done. It's just a loop now, right? Like, that's all we need. And then we're gonna head back to the freight depot. Look at that trip. It's gonna be, we're gonna have to come this way. This looks like it goes down, so we're gonna have to stay like right on the edge of this and then go over here. It's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a cool trip. But anyway, let's go sell this stuff, make some money. How much are we at? 1200 bucks. So cool. I love the rhythmic chuffs of steam engines. They're just so great. Definitely makes me want to get the bigger engines like right away. Um, but obviously, you know, we gotta connect up to some industries first sort of the progression of this game. We gotta flick that switch as well. Full break. I don't know if that's... Yeah, no, you're just you're just sliding along. Just flat spot in those tires. No big deal. No big deal. Got it. Easy. Perfect. Alright. Get back off that. Bring her right up into the freight depot. This is a cool map so far, though. I'm a big fan. I like the fact that it's not just a dense forest surrounded by mountains. I really... I'm a big fan of, uh... You know, the different hills. And it's almost like they've got different biomes all over the map. Let's go where... Yeah, that's right. We have weight. We have a lot of weight. Yeah, we're not... We're, we don't stop as quickly. We don't have train brakes. That's right. It, we're literally only using the locomotive. We have no air hooked up. I keep forgetting this isn't Derail Valley. We don't have air lines. We can't slow down our cars. We're literally just stuck with whatever our locomotive can do. And unfortunately for Betsy, that's not a whole lot. Let's unload all this stuff. Boom. 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 And boom. We had $1,200 before. How much money do we have now? $1,500. $300 total. That was not a lot of money. Now, we are delivering it to the freight depot, but $300, I mean, divided by six, it's $50 a car, it's $10 a log, is where we're at. So, 
It's not, it's not great. It's not great money. But, like, we gotta get to the sawmill. I mean, that's, that's the big thing. Literally straight that way. We just have to extend that track and keep going. And eventually we'll get to the sawmill. And then once we start delivering to the sawmill, we'll make money as well as better products. And then we'll come back here and we'll have to buy a better engine. I mean, what's the next engine we could logically buy? We could probably buy, like, a Montezuma or something. Something cheap. Maybe a Eureka. And we'd be, you know, laughing. With, we can buy, no, that's, that's nonsense, nonsense. Oh, interesting, the 10 miles, 3,400, 3,500, 2,500, yeah. So we can buy, like, a Montezuma, which is another one of the starting engines. But, I mean, theoretically, it'll go a little faster. And, uh, we should just save up and get the Eureka for 2,900. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you want to see more railroads online. I, this is a cool map. It's cool to check out the new map. Um, no new industries in the map, it seems. Still the same industries as we had before. Uh, but definitely a whole different layout. You can see we got the oil field, the refinery, ironworks, coal mine, sawmill, all that nonsense. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.